Hi guys, welcome back to another Juicy Panda video and guess what we're doing today? We're gonna stretch. This is very important to me. So now I want it to be important to you too because our health, our body, our mind, and our soul needs to be at its top level to be performing in this kind of world. Do you know what I mean? So let's really focus in on creating a consistent routine, a consistent practice that you can do at home every day or whenever you have some free time that will help you feel just a little bit less tense, a little bit less stress, a little bit less anxiety. You know, it's really hard out here to just spend some time with yourself. So that's what we're gonna do today. So welcome to the Juicy Panda. It's gonna be a mix of yoga, a mix of a little working out, a little um, more stretch, meditation, a lot of that. So I'm gonna go change my clothes. All right, so I'm in my Wena outfit to get this workout on, super excited. So go find some space on the floor, go grab your mat, go grab your blanket, uh, go find some space. If you don't have a mat or a blanket, that's totally okay. Just go sit on the floor somewhere comfortable, move your objects out of the way, move your chair out of the way. We are getting onto the floor. So, the first thing that I like to do is when I get on the mat, I kind of just like to, or get on the floor, just kind of like to wiggle some, wiggle some things out. You know, shake a little bit, shake a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna start with reaching up to the sky. So, what I like to do is have my feet kind of like width apart, Plant it on the ground, even, and just stand up straight. Stack, stack your body on top of each other properly. No slouching, no turning, no. Try to stack properly. So with this, we are going to learn the basic breathing that we need to try to do throughout the routine. So when we're going to do our breathing, we're going to breathe in all the way to five. We're going to hold for four and then breathe out for six. So you're going to breathe in. Again, you're gonna breathe in. All right, so let's try to do that while we're lifting our arms up to reach the sky. And when I say reaching the sky, I want you to reach like there's food up there, there's money up there, there's something up there that you need. So reach up really, really tight, right? So we're gonna breathe in. Reach, 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 reach. Hold. And then breathe out, come down. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're gonna try that again. So breathe in. Hold, one, two, three, four, breathe out. One more time, try breathing in. One, two, three, four, five, Hold, reach, 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 one, two, three, four. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so after that, we're gonna go ahead and just drop our body forward. Touch the ground, if you can't touch the ground, that's okay. You can hold your hands on your shins, but just bend over, drop the, sec the top half of your body over. And we're gonna grab our shoulders 
and we're gonna hang. Have, a, have your knees bent, they shouldn't be locked. Have them slightly bent, and we're gonna hang over. When you're hanging over, feel free to take some deep breaths, exhale, push out some air, shake your arms. This is going to help relieve, you know, anything in the lower back. Let go of your head, let go of your neck, shake your neck, say yes, say, say yes, say no. All right, we're gonna come from this, let go of your elbows. Grab onto your shins, we're gonna do a flat back like this. All right. And then we're gonna come all the way up. All right. How are you feeling? We're just getting started. It's okay if you couldn't bend over all the way, it's okay, you're gonna get there. This is what takes practice, this is what takes time. All right, so from here, we are gonna go into downward dog. So we're gonna go drop over, have our, lands, our hands flat on the mat or the ground, and we're gonna just step back, almost the width of your mat, but don't, you know, don't necessarily push it. So when we step back, we're gonna try to get our head to look at our knees, okay? And you can have a slight bend in your knees. And the purpose of the downward dog is for you to push from your hands. You're supposed to be pushing up from your hands and then pushing up from your legs. So you're kind of like sticking your butt, um, you're sticking your behind up. And you should feel the stretch in your legs and in your shoulder blades. So right here, take a deep breath and we're gonna kick it out. Kick it out, all right. All right, then we're gonna come forward to like a plank. We're gonna drop, we're gonna drop down. Lay on the ground. Sometimes you can hover if you want to, but we're gonna lay down. Our hands still on our side. You can put your chin down on the ground. And we are going to lift up our chest and our neck like this. But when you do that, go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. And exhale, coming down. All right, so I'm gonna breathe in. All right, now we're gonna go a little further. So we're gonna lift our neck, our chest, and the, and the upper part of our stomach. So we're gonna go up like this. And then breathe down. And then breathe out and go down. We're gonna lift up. All right, and so for the third one, we're gonna go all the way up like this. Got it. Go down. And again. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so from here, we're gonna, our hands are still on our sides. We're gonna go shoot right up like you're into a plank. Back to downward dog. Kick it out again. All right. All right, and then we're gonna walk on forward. And we can slowly come up. All right, now we're gonna do a vinyasa pose. So we're gonna take our right leg, pull it out, back leg back, foot facing the left. Yes, my love. We're gonna bend, we're gonna bend our knees like this. When you're bending your knee, make sure it's not too over. It's kind of just like step right on top. We're gonna throw our hands up. Reach, 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 reach. Come on, little warrior. Keep your hands over. Then we're gonna come, come forward. Come 
about to simmer. And then we're gonna loop on all the way over. is come down back into downward dog, flat plank, down and up. I'm going to do it again. So now we're going to lift our left leg up. I like to just stretch it out like that, pulling it in, across from our chest, right from in between our legs, come up. Warrior pose, flip the hands, reach back, again, stretch, Ooh. back to center, little barrel back, and up, down, down the dog, plank, So let's do it again. Right leg up, swing it all the way in, in between your legs. Shoot all the way up. Reach, reach, reach. Warrior. Back. Forward. Feel free to rest your hands here if you need. Touch the ground. Come up. Little barrel back. Leg up, downward dog, plank, down, up, and then to the left leg, up, sweep it through, in between the legs, shoot up, warrior one, try to make sure you're kind of like in a line, all right, reach back, Wheel barrel back. Up. Down. We're down. Plank. Cobra. We can put our feet together. Whew. I like to get back to this. And then you can lift up. So, the vinyasa flow is definitely, as you see, breathing hard. It's definitely like a very upbeat routine, but it, what it's so great about it is that it's such a consistent, same flow. So it helps you build a momentum over time. Once you know all the moves, it becomes like a flow, vinyasa flow. And I feel like it really helps when you do it in the morning, because it gets you ready for the day, set routine, you do your vinyasa flow, prompt, you breathe correctly through it, and that, that takes some time to properly learn your breathing, um, but it's super fun to do, super fun to learn, but we're only gonna do those two, because I just wanna show you guys what we're doing. So next, we're gonna get on the ground, fully on the ground. I know you guys are probably waiting so let's keep it on the ground. All right. So, so this lay flat. And right here you can notice how, you know, gravity is pulling us down. And the ground is also holding us and we're kind of like that layer in between. So just take a second. And we are gonna do the same breathing technique we learned earlier again. So like I said, we're gonna breathe in to five, hold for four, breathe out all the way to six, okay? So breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, hold, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And it's good for you to try to follow this because it can help steady your heart rate if it's beating fast after that vinyasa flow, because mine certainly is. So let's try, let's try two more times. So you're gonna breathe in. One, two, three, four, five. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, one more time. You guys try on your own. I, I, I wanna do it too. So let's do it together and go. So now we are going to lift up our right leg. Woo! <clears throat> All right. Um, go ahead and grab your leg behind your thigh. Lift your leg up straight up. Go ahead and wiggle your foot out. Ooh, ooh. All right. So if you can't bring your leg up this high, it's okay, hold it like this. I just need to get it off the ground. Even if it's hovering like this, just try to get it off the ground. You're gonna try to stretch your legs out. Uh, what I like to do, normally I like to use um, some type of rope or something, but I'm not gonna grab this time because you guys just need to know just to do it even without the prop. So grab our leg. I pull mine all the way in because I like to feel the stretch in the back of my leg. Grab that. Whew. Sometimes I pull it to the side. Back to center. Oh yeah, stretch that foot out. Stretch that foot out, stretch that leg out. Let your leg know you love and respect it. Thank you for walking me to the bathroom this morning. All right, now take your knee, throw it over. Your right arm out, look into the right side. And just breathe in this twist. Take some time, do some deep breaths in this twist. All right, come back to center. Lift your leg back up. One little last stretch. And put it down. Take a second to feel the difference between your right leg versus your left leg. What does it feel like? All right, now we're going to take our left leg up. Do not overexert yourself. Listen to your body. If it's telling you, ouch, ah, pull it back down. Like I said, with time and stretching more, you'll become more flexible. So do not push yourself now because you're not going to want to do it tomorrow. So, all right. Right angle, pull it on over. Left, left, left hand out, look into the left side. Breathe into this twist. Alright, come back to center. Up, 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 and down. Alright, guys, lay there. Take a second to take in what your body is telling you right now, what your body is feeling. Enjoy the sensation. Enjoy whatever is coming. It is teaching you something. All right, so next we're gonna take both of our legs up. And this is kind of like a, a baby pose. You know, babies do this. <sighs> but we're gonna put our knees to our chest if we can. If we can't, just hold them like this. I'm just gonna grab the bottoms of my feet. Rock a little bit. All right. All right, put it down. All right, so now we're going to roll 
shoulder to our right. Please roll to your right when you're getting up. Do not, don't get up from a flat back. It's just too much pressure on the heart. Just come up nice and slow. All right. So, we just did there. What I like to finish off doing is um, I like to get in a nice, comfortable seated position. And I do a nice, short meditation, um, depending on what's going on that day. Um, but if I can at least sit down for, sit still for at least five minutes, it's good. But we won't sit for five minutes today, but I just want you guys know. Um, but yeah, find a seated position. You don't have to be like this. You could be like this. You could be like this. You can, you can go lay uh, against the wall. Uh, if you want to lay back down, you can. Just get into a comfortable position. And what's so great about um, working out a little bit, stretching, feeling the burn, is afterwards, you get to sit still and you get to listen to your body and you get to feel how you feel afterwards. And that will give you all that you need to know for when you do your next practice. Mm -hmm. So, and what's also good about sitting still for a little bit is how, you know, we're so consumed with everyday things like our phones, our, you know, technology, the internet, uh, Instagram, I don't know, TikTok, all those things. and. You know, when do we really get an honest time to just sit with ourselves? So, take this time right now. We're going to take two minutes and we're going to sit. Okay? Pick anywhere you want to be, anywhere on the floor. Don't go sit in a chair. Sit on the floor, ground yourself in, and take this time to be silent and just listen. What I like to do is close my eyes and I with my ears, I bounce from each sound in the house. Like my ceiling fan's on, I might listen to that. My refrigerator's on, I might listen to that. Any sounds outside, I will listen to that. So just listen to that. If you're thinking a lot about something, it's okay. Don't try to force yourself to stop thinking. Just relax. If the thoughts come, let them come. And also let them pass. Give yourself this time, okay? All right. So, let's get to it. We're gonna do our breathing again, and then we're gonna also do three arms. So, let's do our breathing in, ready? So we're gonna breathe into five. doing this with my hands because I want you guys to see that I'm still counting even though I'm not saying it but you do not have to do this um, but you can also count your head so for our next our last one we're going to count with our heads um, and I'll show you ready let's do it one more time so breathe in There's so much oxygen being sent to your brain that is helping your brain. So please practice that breathing. Count if you need to with your hands or count in your head, but it really is gonna help you clear your thoughts. So now we're gonna do three alms and we're gonna go into a nice short meditation and we will awaken and um, we'll see you. All right, let's go. So when I do my alms, I breathe in and I just push everything out, everything's going out. Okay, so we're gonna breathe in. Um.
right, so sorry if those abrasive. Do not open your eyes yet. Slowly just float from yourself back, wiggle your finger or wiggle your fingers. Move your mouth. And slowly open your eyes. well we have come to the end of the video um end of the routine um thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you guys for being here getting on the floor stretching your body will thank you your mind will thank you as well but i'm so happy to be able to share what i love what i think is working for me and giving it to you so you can be better feel better move better shoot walk better talk better i don't know anything that you to work on you know you can find benefits in this i promise so uh, so thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for being here i appreciate you guys don't forget to share comment and subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed already welcome to the juicy panda family there's a lot of things that are going on in this channel um but if you are interested in yoga and wellness your panda so you guys have a good day keep it juicy keep it blessed and i will see you at the next video peace